Let's start. The project name is the camera. Let's see the project structure. In the manifest file, we have written the camera and storage permissions. In the XML folder, we an XML file called file underscore path. This file defines the path where our clicked images would be stored. Here we have the main activity, camera manager class, and a permission manager class. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main XML file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main dot XML file, we have an image view and a button. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the image view. This is the button. Let's see the Java code now. The working of the permission manager class is explained in one of our previous tutorials. The link to that video is given in the description. These are the imports. This is the camera manager class. These are the data members. First, we have implemented the singleton object creation pattern so that only a single object of this class would be present throughout the app life cycle. This is the camera callback interface. It has a function called get photo URI. This function collects the image URI from this manager class along with an intent a request code and passes it on to the main activity. This is because the launching of the default camera app activity is only possible either through an activity or a fragment. We cannot start an activity from a normal Java class. So that's why we need to pass all this data to the main activity via this interface. This is the open camera function. First, it creates an image capture intent. Then it creates an image file using the create image file function. Then we store at image file at the path provided in the file underscore path dot XML file. And then we get its URI. Then we call the get photo URI method of the interface, which takes all this information to the main activity where we can start the default camera app. This is the create image file function. Here we are creating a JPEG file and the file name has a timestamp in it. This function adds the clicked image into the gallery. This function sets the clicked image into an image view. These are the imports. This is the main activity that implements the camera manager dot camera callback interface. These are the data members. Here we have mentioned the camera and storage permissions. In the onCreate function, first, we create the instances of permission manager class and camera manager class. When the button is clicked, first, we check if the camera and storage permissions have been granted by the user or not, if not, we ask for the permissions. When the permissions are granted, we call the open camera function of the camera manager class. From the open camera function, the app flow jumps here at the get photo URI method. Here we have fetched the photo URI, an intent to start the camera app, and a request code in the function parameters. So here we call the start activity for result function, which starts the default camera app. When an image is clicked, we get the results in this on activity results function. Here, we convert the photo URI into bitmap format. Then we call the set pick function, which sets this image into an image view. This function sets the clicked image into an image view. Then we call the add pick to gallery function. We handle the permissions result in this function. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can click an image, show it in an image view, and save it in the gallery in Java Android. Thanks for watching.